Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We got a list of 14 properties. And if you want to come to the buyer class this weekend, it's going to be an exceptional class. We've got a uh, guest star, Colin Best, who's going to come in, local regional counselor. He's part of the planning committee. He really knows what's going on. He's going to have some great maps put up. We're going to talk about the future of Milton, and it's going to be great. In addition to that, you'll learn how to get up to $10,000 or more of free government money. We're going to look at how to get the best deals before other buyers how to ensure your agent protects you. We've got slides from real life home inspections. We're gonna go into all the closing costs for new and resale homes. We're gonna compare new and resale. We're gonna talk about the best time to buy a house and a whole lot more. So just sign up over there. It's Saturday at 1230 and you're gonna have a great time. So let's get to today's list. And so there's 14 properties. And the first one is actually just a bit of a correction from yesterday. I did notice this one. If you remember, it was at 3339. It seemed a little far-fetched and so I believe that they have actually um, changed this one back to 233, which is where it was supposed to be. So I just thought that didn't seem like reality. So this looks like the same listing and it's about $205 on the uh, the maintenance fees. So 371 Bronte number 65 is at 279. And so it's uh, it almost looks like a Craig's or a Craigslist or a Kijiji ad. I mean, okay, so our table's for sale and we've got these lovely cabinets and the microwave and there's also a pool table and there's a lamp and a couple chairs. Like it doesn't really show the house. It's really funny when we see, I think it's funny when we see listings like this that aren't actually showing the rooms. They're just showing a bunch of stuff in the house, which isn't included anyway. So three bedroom, two washroom, maintenance fees are 266, which is actually some of the lower fees that we find for these units. A lot of them are over 300 now. Uh, and you've got your finished basement here. It's not that far off. It's really, with these ones, you look at the complex, you look at the history and you say, okay, what upgrades have they done? Plus or minus, and it spits out a value. It's usually pretty simple arithmetic. Uh, Spire Circle is 369. And I can almost guarantee these guys are gonna get close to, or maybe a little bit above 320. They are gonna sell very fast. Uh, it's it's only 1051 square feet, but they've done some great upgrades in here, some great additions. They've even filled in underneath the, the counter space with some storage, which is terrific. The, uh, the furniture and everything else looks great. And uh, I would say these guys are rocking and rolling for sure. Now, 620 Ferguson, number 92, three, uh, 328, eight. it's a three bedroom model. The corner one, I believe is around 14 something square feet. And uh, it's got a pretty good floor plan here. Uh, I think they should do okay. There is a small cost here of about $60 a month for snow removal and for garbage removal. And that translates into about a, I would say about a $10,000 carrying cost on a mortgage. 50 or 60 bucks a month is about that much on a mortgage. So really I look at this one, I say, does it compare to what else is selling in uh, the range of about 10,000 higher, about 338? And I would say absolutely. In fact, it's one of the bigger homes in uh, in that list too. So Hasselfeld, perfect example, 1297 square feet at 339. And I actually think these guys are doing pretty well. We've seen this model sell right around 340 a bunch of times in the last month or so. And it's the only one with a true eat-in area. And then you've got two bedrooms upstairs. A lot of people ask me, is there a difference in price between the two and the three bedrooms? The threes can command a bit of a premium, but it's a very negligible difference. It's more important about the actual size of the box than the number of bedrooms for this particular style of home, uh, because I think your target audience is pretty much uh, a young couple, maybe children on the way, but probably single or couple, in which case they're usually okay with two larger rooms instead of three smaller ones. So this one on Dairy is actually a new Matami, and uh, it's 1523 square feet. I, you know, I look at this and I say, is it, are you gonna find somebody who's willing to pay the same price almost as they could get for a similar sized two-story home with a backyard? Now, the only difference with this one, first of all, you have to pay for appliances. You don't have a yard, but it looks like this one backs onto the ravine. So. Bit of a tricky call, I'm not sure how much the lack of yard at this price point when people have other options is gonna affect the, their results. And if you look at something like the 339, it's very hard to get something with the yard for a similar size. Like, I, I don't know, I'm, it'd be very interesting to see how long this one takes to sell. Um, I'll be watching it carefully because it's a new style of home, it's larger than anything else we've seen for the three stories. 
Now 1066 Clark is at 419, 1500 square foot uh, Lindbrook model. And boy, that green is, is I, I'm not, the green. that green is not usually a power color for listings. Even neutralizing the shower curtains is usually a good thing. That room would be great for uh, for someone who's got kids, very creative children. I think it would be amazing. So the one shot that I don't see in here is actually the finished basement. I think that one of your nine photos definitely should be devoted to uh, to that. We've got this one on Zelinsky here. It's uh, about 1665 square feet. It's, uh, it's a semi-detached. It's got some nice flooring here. Uh, the kitchen's a little bit more basic, but you've got a bit of a pie-shaped lot here too. And uh, everything looks clean and simple. That's the goal whenever you're listing your home is to be right in that range. So you've got 429.9. Uh, compared to the stuff that's 150 square feet smaller that's selling for 420, I'd say 429 seems pretty fair. And that lot might just give it that little extra push. So Transcom which is a really bizarre, it sounds like a uh, shipping company, but it's the name of a street, New Street 459. And Townhouse, they've, uh, it's very interesting with this one because they've actually quoted the total square footage. So you're never quite sure how much the, is the first and second floor, how much is the actual finished basement. Uh, another thing I noticed here too is that you've got cinder block between the homes, which is a good thing. We talked about that at the buyer class. What is between you and your neighbor? Cinder block is uh, is actually more than the minimum standard, which is two sheets of fire resistant drywall uh, in a fire that's going to last much longer. Different opinions on which one is actually quieter between homes, uh, because remember cinder blocks are basically hollow inside. Uh, but that is definitely what you prefer to have if there was ever an accident and a fire in your neighbor's house. Um, Inman Heights is 500. They're actually holding back on offers, which I think is bizarre because it's not even as good as stuff that's been selling in the 480s. Um, it's nice. It's got the nine foot ceilings. It's got darker cabinets. It's the four bedroom elevation of the plan four, which is 1835 square feet. And they even say in here approximately 19, it's 1835. Mm -hmm. That doesn't seem entirely close to me, but anyways, it's uh, it, I don't know if they're going to get that. It seems a little bit high. This one on Granky is 1,600 square feet at 509. You can find far larger homes. You can start to get to double garage homes in this range, and I'm not disputing it's nice because it definitely is the crown moldings, the pot lights. You've got, uh, it looks like a very upgraded ensuite. There is a premium for a home put at this level of quality, but it seems it seems bizarre to me because a nice version of this home just sold recently at 450. So 50, 60 thousand dollars premium. I don't know if the upgrades are worth that. I understand someone may have spent 60 in upgrades. It doesn't mean you're going to get them back. So Swindale is 514, and we're looking at about a 2,000 square foot home. Nice open concept kitchen. You've got some extra pantry space. Uh, I like the wainscoting here. It looks really nice. It gives it a different flair. Uh, some money spent in the laundry room, and you've got your finished basement here too. So I definitely think there's a market for this home with the four bedrooms, and you've got four washrooms, including one down in the basement. Lesage has been hanging around. It's actually, for 3,000 square feet, it's not horrible. I just don't find that the home really electrifies. I think that that light definitely makes it look dated. The home itself is probably less than five years old, but it almost looks like something that you'd see on Woodward or, or something like it's a bit closer to 10 years old. Um, you'll, you'll find more upgraded homes in this price range. It is actually very active. I'm surprised at how many buyers are looking between six and 700 right now. Uh, but it just seems like you have to be good. You've got to really look good. You've got to impress. And I think parts of this home do that, but I don't know if it, if it's really uh, that, if it has that emotional hook that some of the other ones in the range have, uh, Q6 circle 743, Similar home fronting onto Louis Saint Laurent sold recently within the last couple months for like 640 or something. So they're running into comparison issues there. That one I think sold for a bit lower uh, than the potential, but uh, 743, it's just, it's, I don't see a lot of people that are really gonna get excited by this one here. Again, more green walls. Uh, interesting effect that they painted the back walls here, put some lamps in. This is like the Madame model home. It's a Stanbury, about 3,500 square feet. It just, it, I don't know if this one's really going to grab someone, uh, you know, 
it's a 50 by 100 foot lot, but I just, it doesn't look like it, it really has a wow factor inside. And uh, that's it. It's, I, I like the floor plan though. It's a very interesting floor plan. Uh, if you have any questions, you want to see anything in today's list, just give us a call. And I'd love to see you at the buyer class on Saturday. So have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.